Uh, okay, okay, let's let's move let's move on. New GM infotainment operating system leaves drivers stranded. Who could have seen this coming? GM has issued a brief pause on deliveries of the new Chevy Blazer EV in order to address software quality issues. The Blazer was GM's first model to drop support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in favor of Android Automotive OS, a custom version of Android designed specifically for cars. So this is meant to run on the car rather than on your phone with the car as effectively a, a display and input for it. The car's launch has reportedly been plagued with infotainment bugs that have left drivers stranded, including Inside EV's writer Kevin Williams, whose vehicle infotainment system went blank while he was driving, failed to charge, then produced a service vehicle soon error message. GM claimed that the issue only affected a limited number of customers, but... Posts about serious issues appear to be fairly widespread, including one poster whose car repeatedly refused to shift into park and another whose car heating couldn't be turned off and whose infotainment system bricked and had to be fully replaced. <laughs> GM recently claimed and later retracted that it dropped Android Auto and CarPlay for the sake of user f***ing safety. I added that one, one word in there myself. You can decide which one it was. Because the apps are buggy and sometimes force drivers to take their attention off the road. Oh, well, this is much better. GM. Why is GM so determined to suck? <laughs> I can't figure it out. They heard the term embrace the suck and just took it in a direction it's not supposed to go. I can't figure it out. This is coming from someone who actually kind of fanboys over the one GM vehicle that they have ever owned. The Volt is a great car. And then they discontinued it, like, just in time for it to have been super awesome and competitive. Um, and then they're, they're taking one of the best things about it, which is that I had an older car that felt every bit as modern as any other car because it just used friggin' Android Auto and so it was always getting software updates and I didn't have to rely on my stupid car manufacturer to be good at software because let's face it, they all suck at software with some exceptions. I mean, you can make arguments about Tesla having some pretty good elements to their software. Um, trying to think of anyone else. No, the last thing I want is to touch any software made by my car manufacturer. I want to use software that is made by whoever I chose to put in my pocket, where it's already logged into all of my crap all the time and everything works and is set up pretty much the way that I'd expect it to. And then when I change my car or get in someone else's car, I just plug in, I, I rent a car, boom, I'm ready to go, I'm off to the races. That is a great user experience and anything else is a giant boatload of suck and I'm, I don't even take any pleasure in being right about this, but it was so obvious that this was going to be a giant pile of garbage and a disadvantage for GM's buyers that I just, I can't fathom it. Like, obviously, I'm not saying, well, I should be CEO of GM. I'm not sitting here, you know, <laughs> in front of my TV talking about how much better of a coach for the Patriots I could be or whatever, right? Like, that's not the point. It's just... I don't know. I'm sure there's engineers at GM who would have known better. Maybe just talk to the people internally. That's leadership, right? You just talk to people. Someone could have told you that this is probably a bad idea. And I'm sure there's, there's business monster reasons for doing it, but I don't care. There's business monster reasons for making desirable cars that people want to buy and drive. Why don't you do that? Why don't you focus on that and worry a little bit less about how to squeeze more money out of the data you collect from your customers? Just an, just an idea. Crazy idea, I know.